last, the Dark Council has answered my petitions and sent a powerful fighting Sith to help secure the temple. What's the situation here? Of course, I've been ignored again. How stupid of me. If you're here, however, you must have the authority to enter the Dark Temple. You could still save this planet. You have my attention. The Dark Temple is ancient, built during a previous incarnation of our empire. A thousand years ago, our own emperor buried his enemies here. These enemies remain powerful, even in death, which is why the temple was sealed. But now, something terrible has happened. I don't like where this seems to be going. With the Emperor's attention elsewhere, a group of ambitious but ignorant Sith thought to gain power by raiding the temple. They didn't find the relics they sought. Instead, they awoke an ancient Sith Lord, Lord Kallig, and their expedition plunged into madness. Are they still in there? The ones who still live, yes. Because Lord Kallig died by ambush, I believe he awakened unaware of his own death and his expectations became reality. For those around him, his power overwhelmed all inside the temple. And even now, the workers plot wars against each other, believing themselves Sith Lords, and drawing terrible power from Kellig himself. I'm quickly losing interest. You are lucky I have no other to turn to in this dark time. There are still more ancient Sith Lords whose spirits lay dormant in the temple. If the ancient Sith Lords are woken by the violence within, they could overrun Dromund Kars. Maybe that won't happen. We're not going to be saved by optimism, young one. I have studied all of the burial chambers within. Each was made with the same ancient design, one we can exploit. If you fuse the 500 kilogram hinges on each tomb door, even a violent assault should not be able to wake the Ancients. What would have to be done? The team I sent in earlier was using a massive metal torch. Effective, but slow, I'm afraid. They did not make it far. The torch must be recovered, and the doors of the Ancients sealed. dare approach the great Nil Fenris, Lord of the Sith, Master of the Undying Darkness. Answer me. What insolence brings you to this place, slave? You don't look like a Sith Lord, and you wear a slave collar. What? You're not afraid of me? You aren't a mindless puppet like the rest of them? I, I don't understand. Of course I'm not a puppet. Then whatever it is that's doing this is, is losing its hold. I... Yeah, I was part of an expedition sent by the Empire to measure strange activity in the Dark Temple. But soon after we entered, we all became... different people. I became the mighty Lord Venerus, and the others became my obedient followers and servants. Why don't you start from the beginning? We were gathering data for the Empire, and then we were all suddenly... possessed. It's strange that you seem to be unaffected. In fact, it's strange to find you here at all. I thought the Imperials gave up sending people in here. What exactly are you doing here? I was sent after your expedition. So, the Imperials haven't given up on getting their precious data, after all. This is lucky. You see, ever since I came to my senses, I've been worried that my followers will begin to doubt my leadership. I can't lose my power. I can't go back to being a slave. But maybe... maybe we can help each other. You have my attention. All, all I ask is that you find the symbols of Lord Venerus's power. They were looted from his tomb by the people possessed by Venerus's enemies. The symbols will help me reinforce my followers' belief in me, lock them in their dream. I'm making no promises. 
Be careful. Venerus's old enemies will put up a good fight. Hello, stranger. My internal chronometer tells me it has been exactly 963 years since this hologram was made. Have the Sith truly lived in fear of me for so long? I guess that would depend on who you are and who you ask. A careful answer. But you certainly don't need to fear me. This image is all that remains of Kelether. Like so many before me, I challenged the Emperor and was buried in this temple. Fortunately, I had just enough time to make this, an interactive image that would transmit my secrets to whomever was bold enough to find my tomb and unlock it. Tell it to someone who gives a damn. You should. Your whole society has been misled. The way of the Sith lies in channeling the Force through the use of powerful emotions. Fear is the chief of these. The Sith feed on palpable dread. There'd better be a point to this. As I discovered, no great knowledge comes without great patience. Fear gives temporary power, and passion is easily manipulated. Real strength in the Force comes when one is no longer afraid. And one can purge fear when one stops grasping. After power, after things, after life itself, and allows the Force to guide him. There is only the Force. You are an imbecile. My peers obviously did not think so. They considered my teachings dangerous. What I learned only lives on through this image and its device. Yet I am one with the Force. Eternal and at peace. Take them. Take my teachings to the Sith. They will find power there, but a different kind. Not of darkness, but light. These heresies must be destroyed. Then do so. Strike out against knowledge and see what comes of it. If you destroy these teachings, the light does not go out. Remember, fear is not the only way. You're back. I hope you sealed the chambers of the ancients, Keleth Ur's chamber especially. I'm terrified to think what would happen if Keleth Ur and his crazed ideas were to reemerge. There was a hollow, but the message is destroyed. Kelether's secrets have been contained along with the other ancients. You have done well. <laughs> <laughs>